Welcome back, Tater Tots, to the channel for another new episode of our Star Sign Legacy, episode 21. So remember, guys, in the last episode, we found out that Chris is officially pregnant, and I'm really excited about it. And she is currently in her third trimester, so we are just waiting. She will be giving birth at any moment. So yeah, it is a very rainy Saturday morning, and I believe both of them have the day off work if I'm not mistaken, yes. And Jackson here is feeling some burnout again from work, which is just not good, as is Chris. So yeah. But anyways, guys, I kind of wanted to discuss the um, objectives for Gen 1 um, Aries, just to kind of let you guys know where we're at here. So really, I didn't realize, I totally forgot that she's supposed to get pregnant from a public woohoo. And they just woohooed in the bed, and that's how she got pregnant. So we're probably gonna have to have a second kid just so that we can, um, you know, get pregnant from a public woohoo. So yeah, we will have to take care of that. And so once this little baby that's on the way is born and is a toddler, that's when we're gonna have to get a puppy. And we have to reach at least level seven of the politics career, which I'm not sure what she's at right now, but I plan on trying to get her to the top and at least level three of the extreme sports enthusiast, 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 um, what do you call this, aspiration. And so we only have one thing left to do in this. And so yeah, we've already made it past that. And then some optional requirements are that we could master all the extreme sports, but we have already technically mastered one, which is snowboarding. And so, yeah, we don't have to master them all, but we did run, or, oh my gosh, I'm like reading something at the same time I'm looking at this. And so I'm like trying to say other words, but um, yeah, so our snowboarding skill is doing good. We boohooed in several different locations. I'll have to go back and look and we are working on getting the adrenaline seeker lifestyle and I'm trying to remember what lifestyle we have um, lifestyles energetic so we don't have adrenaline seeker quite yet so we'll work on getting that but that is again another optional one so yeah and we're supposed to give our children winter themed names so yeah I gotta think about it and look at Chris's belly just running into oh my gosh girl like look at that guys she still has like a hardcore six-pack while she's pregnant dang girl like I definitely had no kind of pack anything other than you know like a pack of chocolates when I was pregnant but <laughs> I've never had a six pack in my life but you know that's okay that's okay Chris also seems to be coming under the weather a little bit which is kind of unfortunate because being pregnant and sick is just awful <laughs> like I'm being honest like it when I was sick with my son when I was pregnant with him and whew, it was not a good thing yeah guys look at her six pack there look at that angle like oh my goodness jeez. but I did want to show you guys the upstairs so I added an upstairs here in case you hadn't noticed it already we have a staircase here the yoga mat I've moved over here underneath it I also realized we didn't have a thermostat so they were like freezing cold so I added that to keep them warm because we can't have our soon-to-be little baby freezing cold so yeah so we go upstairs and we have this little landing area and then this is the baby's room I have no idea if it's a boy or a girl so I just just kind of threw something in there for right now so we will see but this will be my first time playing with an infant um, so I'm pretty excited about it and this is gonna be the bathroom upstairs for the infant and this little room right here I'm not quite sure if I just want it to be like a playroom for the kid or maybe like an office but you know it's just the way that it's kind of connected out I might have to make some adjustments especially if they have a second kid um, but yeah we'll worry about all of that later so yeah in the meantime um, but yeah so this is what the outside of the house currently looks um, oh I need to update my roof this is not the type of roof that I want it does not match the house whatsoever okay there we go I have made adjustments there so yeah that is what the house currently looks like on the exterior and of course we have our cute little koi pond over here and our cherry blossom tree which is currently you know not looking too hot because it is quite cold outside and then we have some little our little chest and a little tree thing out here I'll eventually add more but you know this is just what I'm working with right now so we're just gonna make it working oh hey Chris what are you doing outside honey 
Oh, she is feeling so good and enjoying just a breath of fresh air. She's tired of being cooped up. And this girl, I'm telling you guys, she seriously is missing being out there on the slopes because, you know, you can't just snowboard when you're pregnant. That's super dangerous and risky. But she's feeling so flirty. And oh my gosh, she's gone into labor. She has gone into labor. It is official. And that just made me realize, once again, I have forgotten to install the Better Pregnancy Mod. So yeah, we're just going to have like a standard pregnancy. So I need to really seriously take like sit down and think about all my mods and what I want to do with them so uh yeah we're gonna have to do that so okay what are we doing here um have baby at hospital regain passion what does that even mean I don't know but we're gonna have the baby at the hospital of course we're gonna have Jackson join her oh my gosh I think her mom's gonna come too oh can we only have one person okay we'll just have Jackson here we are we have arrived at the hospital and this doctor Look at your eyeshadow, man. He looking, you know, all spiffy and decked out. And oh, here's one of our nurses. All right, so let us go ahead and head on in here. We need to check in at the front desk. So um, yeah, here, check in at front desk. Girl, Chris, where are you going? You gotta take care of this. Okay, okay, so who's our nurse here? We've got Misaki Yamada. And what's his name? Porter Winkler. And so she's like, hi, yes, um, I need to check in. I am going into labor. I'm in quite a bit of pain. And Jackson actually seems to be doing pretty good. Like he doesn't seem to be panicking. So I'm pretty proud of him. He's like, Chris, if anyone's got this, it's you. Like, don't even worry. You're going to rock this. And, you know, I think for her, like she's uncomfortable, but she's so in shape and athletic that it's not real. It doesn't really feel like anything to her. And so I don't think she's really too worried about how things are going to go for labor. And, you know, I have to admit, like for myself, guys, like I'm kind of one of those rare people. Like when I was going into labor with my son, I was hardly in any pain. Like I was already seven centimeters dilated and I wasn't feeling anything. Like I just had, like I could tell my stomach was tightening and that it was contracting, but it didn't hurt. And so I was just like, okay. And, and so, yeah. I'm, I'm just one of those rare stories that everybody like hates and gets mad at, but you know, I was really happy and blessed that it didn't hurt like I thought it would. And so, yeah, my labor was pretty great. Actually, my pregnancy was hard, but the labor wasn't too bad. So, all right. So Francisco is a medical intern at T Pose Medical. So here we go, Chris, you've got this, sweetie. You can do it. I'm so proud of you. Push, 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 push. And Jackson, he's just feeling flirty and romantic. Like the fact that Chris is having a baby just has him feel in a certain type of way and he's like makes me want to get busy and do another one so Chris girl he is just finding you so attractive at being so strong and going through this and oh my goodness a baby boy okay guys our first child is a boy I feel like my sims and my legacies are always having boys but okay so let me think about this a winter name for a boy I'll be honest with you guys I haven't thought about like any of these names so um yeah we're gonna have to think about that Okay guys, I have come up with our little boy's name and his name is going to be Aspen. Okay, and Jackson's last name is Daly, so it's Aspen Daly. And OMG, I think Aspen is such a cool, unique name for winter because like Aspen is one of the trees like in the winter time. And so, <gasps> OMG, this is so cute. Okay, here is our little Aspen. Let's take a look. So, yes, honey, I'm sure you are family oriented, but look, he's so smiley. He's so happy. Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh my gosh. And look at her. She literally popped right back because she is so in shape. My gosh, Chris, like what a freaking soldier. Like she is just like a trooper and she's just loving on her sweet baby. She is so excited. Oh, I just love this. Oh, she's so happy. That is adorable. She's already reached parenting level one. And so, okay, okay. What is she? She's poor girl. She's probably feeling so worn out, but new baby. She's feeling great from it. And we are going to head back to the house, of course, and get things settled. Now we know we have a precious little boy. 
oh my gosh, I'm so happy for her. Like, I kind of feel like Chris is one of those people that would kind of just crank out her kids and get them done. But I think we're going to give her a little bit of time because, you know, she does want to recover and get herself back out there to the slopes. And we need to get this girl out of her, um, you know, out of her, uh, what do you call this? Or her hospital gown. And where is our, there's our baby. There he is. Look at him. He's just in the bedroom, which I, you know, that probably is pretty smart because, you know, when you got a fresh little new one, look at her. She's so happy. I love her expression here. Oh, and in her little gown. I'm going to totally take a picture of this. I seriously love seeing Chris so happy. Like, I was kind of curious and like how she was gonna handle the whole idea of, you know, being a mother and whatnot, but she is just really embracing it. Cause I was a little worried she might be like, you know, like, oh my gosh, like, you know, now I can't do as much as I wanted to. And I can't like just go off to snowboard when I want to kind of a thing. But you know, I think she just really is excited for this new journey and the new challenge. Cause Chris is someone who she seriously, she just loves challenges. And oh my gosh, what is this? Kiss Aspen's forehead. I don't remember seeing that option, but you know, it's okay. So we do need to adjust um, our baby little here, you know. Okay, there we go. That way she is not just in the way of the bed. And let's take care of Chris because mama has to rest and recover. Like she really does. And it's important. Oh my goodness, Jackson. Look at him just coming in here to slow dance. And their little, little Aspen's just back here smiling. He's like, Chris, I'm so proud of you. You did absolutely amazing. And you rocked labor. I knew you could do it. And he actually never really panicked, I don't think. And he's over here enjoying little Aspen. They're both just so happy and i don't think i've ever had my baby this smiley like this this new since they added infants that's so cute and look at him just making direct eye contact with jackson that is so precious i'm obsessed we're definitely gonna have to have our mother come over to meet little aspen and everything so oh my goodness this is just absolutely precious and hopefully this girl better be on some maternity leave because she needs a break and we could secure some more votes but look he's like pooping and she's over here talking to him I also forgot to tell you guys that while I was playing off camera, Jackson got this notification um, that had said looming layoff. Oh no, alongside profit warnings and dire predictions of financial calamity, Jackson finds that his job is at serious risk of layoffs. Might be that working hard helps Jackson dodge this layoff bullet, but who knows? So yeah guys, we need to definitely work really hard to get him promoted because I don't even know what's going to happen. And it looks like, I don't know why I asked would have been a daycare but uh, the festival of snow is here so if they do want to go to that we're gonna have to get a babysitter and they are in both a pretty good mood but I don't think they would want to go anywhere with a fresh new little baby at home they just want to get used to it and spend time together as a family oh these two are just making out in the bathroom like man I'm telling you guys having a baby for them has been like a huge relationship like build up because if you guys don't remember their relationship kind of took a hit when um he did some kind of like flirty thing in front of her and so yeah they their relationship is down quite a bit so we do need to work on building that back up i just learned that you can change your baby's outfit and this is like one of the cutest things I've ever seen and I am so thrilled about it and oh my gosh are these like the little sleep sacks that is precious oh my goodness okay okay we are gonna put him in a little blue raspberry that sounds cute so okay Chris she is currently breastfeeding him he woke up from his nap all crying and she immediately without hesitation even though she was in here in the kitchen she heard him and just went right to him without hesitation and Jackson changed the diaper before he went out for a jog and look there's diaper trash now oh my gosh that's so realistic I love it and oh looks like our boy Jackson is back from his jog and look at his little 
like a onesie oh that's so cute oh my goodness this is gonna be so fun exploring the realm of infant look at that she went right back to her yoga she's like Oh, it feels so good to be back at it and, you know, focusing on herself for a little bit. So I had Jackson go and jog because I wanted to make sure his daily task was completed for work um, on Monday. That way we hopefully don't get him laid off because he's been working so hard in his career. So it would be such a shame for him to have that happen now. And she's getting really close to her promotion as well. So, you know, things are going really well, I think, between them. And I think this child will actually really bring them together, you know? And I think that's just so cute. Look at him. He's just in here smiling. He is such a smiley baby. And I love that. Oh, Jackson. So sweet. So I think we're going to go ahead and invite our mother over tomorrow. That way she can come and meet little Aspen and see him. And then I think she's going to let us go out for a little bit. And her her mother is going to, you know, watch Little Aspen so that they can head out onto the slopes or maybe do a little bit of rock climbing and whatnot. And I don't know why they're always like kind of arguing, it seems like, but you know, we're going to keep working on that. She is quite hot headed and she has been so overly tense from work. Embittered heart. It's hard to be around a Sim who cheated on Chris and broke her heart. Okay, girl, he didn't actually cheat on you, okay? It was just a joke and he was just doing a funny, flirtatious joke and she took it the wrong way. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and whew, Chris and Jackson had a little bit of a rough time with their first night at home with little Aspen. They woke up several times to him crying throughout the night. And so, of course, Chris had to wake up and breastfeed him for a little bit. And But it was so sweet because Jackson, when he woke up another time, literally just took over for Chris, changed the diaper, rocked him back to sleep, and just let her rest because he knows how exhausted she is. And so it is so cute watching the two of them work together as a team as they just get used to this because it's a totally new life. And so she's in there, you know, breastfeeding, taking care of him, and he's out here making some pancakes for them this morning. And oh my gosh, you better clean that up. That is not safe for a baby to be around. But yeah, so he's trying to give them a good energizing breakfast since he knows that his or her mother, Katarina, is going to be coming over. And so, yeah, he just wants to make sure that his boo is taken care of and Aspen. And so it is just so cute watching this family grow up. And so after I think um, the mother comes over to visit, I think that is when we are going to go ahead and just age up. Um, little Aspen into an infant because there's no point in really keeping him as like a baby baby like this and so uh, nothing says that we can't age up the little baby baby stage. These two have been busy getting ready for the afternoon and so Jackson is over here getting ready to cook a lunch because you know Katarina is coming over and so they both he did a yoga routine to help himself be prepped for the day and now it is Chris's turn so she is taking care of her. Oh my gosh Chris that was I wasn't ready for that girl and hey you got pretty good taste but no sorry we can't come to the flea market with you we've got to have our mother come over to meet our little one so yeah Chris is just finishing up her routine she's already showered and whatnot and prepped herself and so yeah we're just gonna have Jackson finish doing all the things that he's doing and he needs to resume this um this food I don't know where he's taking this trash I have to say, I think Jackson looks really good in this orange plaid button up. It just is really cute. It really suits his style. And so, yeah, he's just busy over here. What is he making again? I forgot. Veggie and hummus sandwiches. I felt like that would be a, a nice, good, light lunch for them. So she's calling her mom right now. She's like, hey, mom, do you want to come over and meet Aspen? And so her mom is like, absolutely, honey. I have been dying for you to invite me. Like, this is everything. I'm going to be there in just a second. So, yeah, here comes her mother she is just so excited about this whole thing and has been waiting waiting to meet her little grandbaby oh my gosh guys I just looked and Chris already has another notification that she wants to try for a baby with Jackson again like I'm telling you guys these two like they are like on the same page having a kid has seriously just like turned them on more to each other here is Katarina, so she is feeling good, and it's a really beautiful day out here today. All that rain is gone, which is fantastic. 
fantastic. So, okay, we are going to get our mother to come on over. I don't know why she's hanging out all the way over there, but we do need to get her to come on into the house because we want to introduce her. Oh, and just in time, our little one is crying. And look at that, Chris. No hesitation. She's going straight to her little baby. So, oh, little Aspen, you're probably hungry. Yep, oh, it looks like she decided to bottle feed. She must have done some breast pumping and, you know, got some of her milk in there. And, oh, look at her. She's seriously, like, just so in shape. I cannot believe that. She's one of those few women that just, like, immediately pops right back. Oh no, it looks like Jackson has gotten some kind of illness. He's got some kind of rash all over him, which is not good. He is just not feeling it. And so here is Katarina, and look at her trying to help us clean up. She is such a sweetheart. And I was trying to show off the baby to her, but it looks like she left the room. But Jackson's here for it. She's like, look at little Aspen. He's just crying. He's like, I'm not happy right now, mommy. Please put me back down. I was so sleepy. And here's Katarina. She's like, oh my goodness, Chris. He is perfect. He is absolutely precious. I'm so proud of you, honey. Tell me everything. How did the labor go? I want to hear all the details. And Jackson's like, she freaking rocked it. She was a rock star throughout the whole thing. And she didn't even have to get in, you know, an epidural or anything. She just did it naturally. She's like, yeah, mom, it was it really wasn't too bad. And she's like, well, honey, you've always worked out so hard and been so in shape. Like you were probably just pushing like five pushes and he was probably out. She's like, yeah, that's pretty much how it went. She's like, oh, got to take care of my little one. And she's like, oh, I just love seeing my daughter interacting with her child like this. It's just so cute. And look, she's like, oh my gosh, why are these two just always working out? Like, <laughs> she just, I think Katarina thinks it's a little bit of overkill for how much they work out. But at the same time, you know, she's like, well, it is what they, they do. And it's part of how they bond and their relationship. So, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So I'm going to have Jackson call everyone to the meal to come and grab some sandwiches. Now that little Aspen seems to be doing all right. So... All right, come on, everybody, come and grab some of the food that Jackson prepped this morning. So here they all come, all getting ready to sit around the, what is this, the kotatsu, I think, is komatsu, kotatsu, I think. I can't remember what it's called, but oh my goodness, Jackson, I know you're not feeling good. Chris is like, honey, I appreciate everything you're doing for me and all the help you're trying to do, but you know, you got to take care of yourself. Like if you're getting under the weather with some weird rash, like I don't want you giving it to our son. And oh yeah, he definitely is not doing too well. Oh, and look at Chris. She's just, honestly, she's on top of it she is trying to not fall into any kind of depression or anything like that because she doesn't want to suffer from that that's just not her and I can't really picture her going too much into like a postpartum because of how you know in shape she is and you know working out in fitness really actually does help quite a bit with that and kind of giving getting you out of your funk and that's kind of what she did before she was pregnant and so she hasn't forgotten what her hobbies are and I'm gonna throw this nasty trash away so it's not stinky up in here okay and there is our baby oh he's so precious but I am gonna have her just finish up her oh, look he's taking a nap poor thing he does need to rest up so he doesn't get worse but yeah she's just having some quality time with her mom and she's like it's been so great having you mom I'm I'm really proud to you know have given you a grandchild and I hope you're happy and she's like absolutely honey I'm just thrilled to see you know how happy you are here with Jackson and your marriage but you know I do need to get going so let me know if you need anything and so I think you know having a child has really helped her to bond with her mother more because you know they're they kind of had an like a strained relationship a little bit because Chris is just a little bit more um, vocal and outgoing and whatnot but her mom is really proud of her and I think it's helping them to bond in that you know aspect of motherhood and so I really love that for them and oh, look at her she's just gonna come over here do her yoga routine energy centering so I'll let her finish this routine and then we're gonna go ahead and age up our little guy here and oh, look at Jackson being dad of the year again my goodness I have to say like I don't think I've ever had my sims be this attentive to their baby so maybe it has something to do with the infant update I have no idea you guys would have to tell me that because I don't know Oh my gosh, and then Jackson came in here to kiss her. They are seriously so cute. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and age up this precious, 
precious little baby baby care age up yes i want to see what little aspen is gonna look like my first infant i am so excited she's like let's do it let's do it oh here he goes little aspen oh my goodness i'm so excited she's taking pictures she is just stoked infants a world of discovery communication and play is waiting to be attained so let's see, we randomized it, cautious. These Sims appreciate the familiar, but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and Sims. All right, that makes sense. That seems pretty common with infants. Oh my gosh, they come down on a cloud. Is that not the cutest thing I've ever seen? And oh my gosh, he looks just like Jackson. Smile milestone, look at that happy face. Aspen smile for the first time. Socializing with Aspen will, will, wait, 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 wait. Socializing with Aspen more will help him learn new ways to communicate. Oh my goodness, guys, like he's already reached a smile. I told you guys he was such a smiley baby. I don't know why you like float sitting right here with the baby, but okay, we get that you're family oriented, sure. So, okay, so Jackson became good friends with Chris. You better be personality discovered, so that's great. Candy, hey Chris, been thinking about getting to know Porter Winkler. Go for it, I don't care, but look at this. And what was that? What was that? I don't even know. Can you like put the baby down so that he is not, um, you know, in your shoulder like this? Like he keeps getting buried. But look at him. Look at him. He is totally, totally his dad. Like he looks so much like Jackson. That is adorable. But I think he's totally got Chris's eyes. But of course, I'm like too close for you to see her. But that is so cute. Look at him passing off the baby. They are so in love and I am here for it. So, oh my gosh, why do they keep doing this weird sit thing on the bed like that? Like that, I don't, I don't understand. I've got some kind of weird glitch happening, but look, he can't take his eyes off of his mama. I love it. Absolutely precious. I love watching this little family. They are so cute. Look at his little legs just kicking. Oh my goodness. It makes me want to go smush my sweet baby. But, you know, he's finally asleep in his little bed upstairs. He has been so tantrumy today because I wouldn't let him push his big car that he can sit in out in the street. Like, I had him out in the garage, but then he wanted to go out in the driveway, but then he wants to push it in the street, and then he gets really mad at me that I won't let him put it in the street. And I'm like, you can't do that because it's not safe, sweetie. I know you don't understand, but... And then he just lays down on his back and just cries. <laughs> and so, yeah. Okay, well, this is going to be a whole new thing, and I am so ready for it and excited to explore it with these two. So look at her just admiring little Aspen. OMG. So, okay, this is so cute. I just, I know I've said that 5,000 times, and you're going to hear it all the time, but... I love this stage of little babies. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I miss it. It makes me want another baby. But you know, that's okay. We gon' we gonna wait just a little bit. But okay, well, Tater Tots, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey as little Chris went through labor and gave birth to her first precious little angel here. And so I'm so excited to watch him grow and see if we can get to the top of Mount Komorebi and all of this. So we've got some goals and things to work on. So once again, Tater Tots, thank you so much. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes. And also hit that like button and drop a comment and let me know what you guys think because I would love to know, especially what do you guys think of his name, Aspen? Don't you think that's cool? I really think it's cool. So all right, Tater Tots, thank you once again and I will catch you next time. See ya! Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know